congratulations to Jose Scott from Fort Vancouver High School. March 26th was a banner night for senior Jose Scott, winner of the prestigious General George C. Marshall Youth Leadership Award. It was a fitting honor for the modest young leader. I was like, what leadership? I'm not doing anything. And I, I really didn't think that I had any chance. But Jose has long been influential at Fort. His sophomore year, he formed an anti-bullying club. We figured if we couldn't stop bullying completely, we could, we could tell people the harmful effects of bullying, because that's, that's almost as, as important as telling them to, to not bully. It's letting them know what bullying does to people. He's also an honor roll student, yearbook editor, key club member, and Boys and Girls Club Volunteer of the Month, just to name a few of his many accomplishments. Yet school and life weren't always so easy. The summer before his junior year, Jose's mother passed away without warning. He's, he's gone through a lot of challenges in his life, and, and what's amazing to me about Jose is that he um, has transformed those into action, into um, compassion and empathy, and hard work and dedication. Thanks to his mother, a home health care provider for the developmentally disabled, Jose and his three siblings learned important lessons about serving others. That little seed that was planted in, in all of my siblings, just it really grew and flourished as we, as we grew up. And when my mother passed away, it just, that it blossomed. His junior year, Jose formed another club with the goal of engaging minority students and giving back to the community. The club created toiletry kits for homeless students. We were going to give it to the homeless on the streets, but then we decided, why, why go outside of our school when there are people in our own school without things that they need to live? Jose says that a large part of his leadership and success is thanks to his involvement in Advancement Via Individual Determination, or AVID, a program that helps underrepresented students prepare for college. I think AVID, AVID's, AVID is a great option for if, if you're, you want to go to college, you just you don't know how to get to college. This year, Fort's AVID students got a chance to participate in an early admissions interview with reps from Washington State University's Pullman and Vancouver campuses. Being accepted was motivation to apply to other colleges as well. I had them sitting down doing Central and Eastern's, finding, you know, it's not so hard. If I can get accepted to WSU like this, there's other possibilities for me. Later, 22 students got a chance to tour the Pullman campus. We got to really picture ourselves there, which really helped you uh, to know if you wanted to go there or not. However, Jose plans to stay closer to home, studying political science next year at Washington State University, Vancouver. And after college? So the dream job would be to be an ambassador. <laughs> but the lessons learned in AVID and the culture will carry Jose wherever he goes. It helps us with college and admissions and SATs and whatnot, I mean, that's, that's good stuff that probably I would have never known about if it weren't for AVID, but the sense of family that you're gonna have even after you graduate high school is just, it's, it's great. For In The Know, I'm Amanda Richter.